Obviously, the fight with Jimmy, he's a tough opponent. He's coming off a loss at Marcus Brimage. Obviously, me, myself, the first loss. Uh, I'm hungry for this fight. Uh, I'm going all out. I'm not leaving nothing to the judges. I'm going for a stoppage and I'm getting a victory. Obviously, it's going to play a, a pretty big advantage. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be getting thousands of boos this time. I'm going to get thousands of cheers. So obviously, that's going to feel good. And uh, obviously, I've not fought in Manchester since 2011 before I go to McFighter. So just to be fighting in England, even uh, I'm, I'm buzzing. I can't not wait for this fight. Uh, yeah, I'm in touch with a few of them actually. Uh, Obviously Brendan, well I was in touch with Brendan the most after the Ultimate Fighter and then I was going out together, doing going out at the weekends and that and obviously I got the email that I was fighting him and then I rang him and said, have you had any emails? I was like, no, no, I'm fighting you. He was like, oh, whatever, whatever, I'm not serious, I'm fighting you. And then obviously we had this little weird talk and then he was like, I'll just put on the show and that was it. And I didn't speak to him until after, this, until after, this, after the fight. But uh, yeah, I've kept in touch with Luke, Boller, Norman, all of them really. And then uh, obviously, yeah, the time on the Ultimate Fighter was it was horrible, but at the same time it was the best thing what I've got to happen to. And uh, I wouldn't do it again, but if I had to, I would. But it, but other than that, it was it's a good stepping stone for obviously all the up and coming mixed martial artists coming through the UK at the moment. Favorite fighters to watch. Uh, I've always been a great man. I'd fan Frankie Edgar. Uh, Ross Pearson, I've always been a big, big fan of Ross since I watched him on the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, so that's it really. Oh, a lot of fighters, but they're the main ones who I look up to. Velasquez is going to win TKO. Uh, this time I think he's going to stop him. Obviously last time De Santos did really well to keep him in the, in the game for about five rounds, but this time I think he's going to finish him. Hendrix has got a big punch, uh, but I think GSP is more technically uh, well-rounded and I think he's going to win by decision. Uh, obviously everybody likes seeing a champion lose, but uh, obviously with Ronda Rousey, with her skill set, what she's got at the moment, I think she's uh, like Gracie back in the day. I think she's too much for any women uh, MMA fighters at the moment, so Rousey via Amber. <laughs> Well, from the last, I want Weidman to win. I wanted Weidman to win the last one, but I thought Silva was going to win. And this time, I want Weidman to win. And I think Weidman's going to win, so that's my prediction for that one. <laughs> I'm into all kind of films. I watch films all the time. Uh, a film that I wouldn't really rec recommend watching, or you can actually watch, is a... Uh, is it? What's it called, man? Hobo with a shotgun. <laughs> I think that's probably my top ten shit film. <laughs> but uh, programs I've been watching, I'm always watching Story Hunters, Story Wars. I'm obsessed with them. Uh, Man vs Food, which ain't pretty good when you're dieting. And uh, I always watch Fresh Prince of Bella and My Wife and Kids. Oh, and uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. I'm always watching that at nine o'clock every morning before I go training. I just want to thank uh, all the lads down at ASW, my coach Darren Morris, Alex Mapgain Co, my boxing coach, Rob Lloyd, my tie coach, uh, all my sponsors, Compton Medley, Austin Adam, keeping me in top shape, uh, obviously Rev Gear, Fight Store, UK MMA, uh, Smuggling Duds and uh, PNI Supplements.